The race line of projects upcoming for Mint that could have potential flip or cold gains, but man, Triple Apes could be the next OK Bears. It already breaks a lot of records. We have so more updated news later in this video, so stay tuned. So this is Invitational Advice, only opinion, education, and entertainment. I'm just providing the tools for you. So let's go. Okay, so the Bubble Goose Ballers. This is basically hitting Twitter with a new twist of brand in Solana. Mint date is TBD. Basically, supply is at 10,000. Price is at TBD. Discord following is at 10,500. And Twitter following is at 60,000 followers. Okay, so the reason why the Discord following is six times lower than Twitter is because the link to the Discord is private. I had to hit the Twitter notification bell to get a Discord invite that this is basically a game that they are playing as far as marketing. So the team is Docs, the utility is basically the brand. Their mission is to build a multimedia company with the community as well involved. The artist is an artist that basically is famous for the Boondocks. If you remember the Boondocks, that was a big, big show back in the day. That says a freaking lot. So he used to create Bubble Goose cartoons because the big ballers used to wear Bubble Goose's coats around them. And this is so true when I was a kid as well. So when he was a kid, he used to throw all these things. And this was a thing in my neighborhood as well. So you can see right here, look at that little Bubble Goose around this dude. Pretty cool. So basically he wants to create the next generation Disney or Pixar through NFTs. The roadmap is basically going to be the people minting season one collection and the script will be shared with the community now storyboards will be in there partners will be announced toy debuts and then season number two so you have carl jones who is the producer of the boondocks and basically love barnett is basically the co-founder of the martian blueberry which is a multimedia company worked with stars like trippy red Meg the Stallion, that should be a hint on who they have connections with. Then you have Moko Goku, who is basically the graphic artist. Wag Me Beach, who is a Web3 tech dude that's helping them out. Overall, nice team. Different sections all have different qualities and all working together. So the vibe is an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I'm really digging it. A lot of people are digging it on Twitter. The art is an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I also dig it. It definitely has that brand look that they're trying to talk about. So many of these little guys being made, I could see them being characters in their basically season that is upcoming. So check it out. And the pros is that they have the artists behind this from the boondocks. Cons is that they are testing new waters. New waters in the Solana space. I haven't heard of anyone professionally going this route. So this is all new grounds and exciting to see because if they pull this off, we're gonna see a lot more brands coming in here. More people from these actual professional type of companies, artists coming through the Solana ecosystem. And that is when things are gonna get interesting with these other OG projects because the market is gonna get a little bit more competitive. So I'm super stoked about this one. I'm gonna try to get a whitelist. If you have a Catalina whale, you're pretty much all set for a whitelist because they love those dudes. They love those whales. So next one. All right, this one is called Susano. I like the art. It's English, devilish at the same time. Mint date is TBD. Supply is at TBD. Price is at TBD. Means this is early, so we're still not getting all the info. Discord, basically they have a following of 14,600. Okay, when I do say TBD for mint supply and price, it means that you still have a chance to get whitelisted. That's good. If I have all the info on here, it means that it's getting a little bit harder. So you have a chance of getting to a whitelist for a project like this. So Twitter following, they're almost at 50,000, but the Discord is lower. The team will dox when they announce a launch pad, and it looks like they already have a launch pad coming in. So we are just waiting on the docs part. Currently one of their utility is staking, which doesn't mean much nowadays as everyone else is staking. So we shall see what else they bring to this table. And basically the vibe is a 7.9 out of 10. It's, uh, it's on Twitter. It's not moving as much. Triple Apes is taking all the hype. And R is a sick, basically 8.6 out of 10. Uh, I really like it. Uh, really cool. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Now, dude, this art looks has like a manga spice to it, plus the positive negative feel to the pick. Um, I could put this on my wall. That's how cool it looks like. You know, you got the positive feel and then you got the negative feel here on the right, on the right side. So it's like a yin yang type of look. If it wasn't for the art, I would throw this away, honestly. But you know, that is pretty much the pros. Now the cause is when the roadmap website 
when, when is it coming? Because it's not there yet. Maybe never. I don't know. But that is the risk because I don't know where this project is going forward with. So if you do like to get into this, make sure you wait for the roadmap as well so you can get a clarity on the project. So next to the project, it's called Immoral Kids. Immoral Kids basically is something that's with Disney. You're about to see they have no mint date. They, have, they, they don't really have a supply or a price. Twitter following is at 8,700. Discord is unknown right now because it's private. So you still gotta hit that Twitter notification bell just to um, wait for that Discord notification in one of the tweets to get in. That's how I got into Trippy Kids. Team is docs somewhat because of the Disney dude. So if the project runs, at least we can catch the Disney guy. So there you go. So the vibe levels here is at mid tier 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it's vibing, but it's not as much on Twitter. It's the same thing as the other projects because dude, Trippin' Apes is taking everything, man, on Twitter. And the art is an 8.1 out of 10. Uh, it's cool, but I don't know if the style will catch on to the NFT market. More than likely, people will buy into this project because of the Disney artist and the things he could possibly do in the future. So hopefully, there is more. Basically, for the cons for this project is that they are essentially promoting the project with the Disney artist and the post as well. So they're relying on the Disney artist a lot here. So let's see what else he can develop. As you can see, the Boondocks artist kind of, for me, kind of has a little bit more of a better bullish signal. Um, he seems legit. He seems like he's really into the NFT space. This one, we can't really tell with the Disney artist. Uh, so do more research, find out more if you really do dig this one. Now, obviously, Discord is private. It's too, too early to tell with this one, but the early the better. So you can enter the discords and get the whitelist. Okay, so in the last video, I mentioned tripping apes. Guys, this is so out of norm. I'm telling you again, OK Bears was hyped at 80K followers and hit number one on OpenSea 24 hour chart. So dude, this thing is already at 215,000 followers on Twitter and no man they announced yet. Seriously though, I'm broke right now because I spent all 240 souls on buying a dead god, which is really cool because I'm earning like 60 to 100 dollars a day from just taking it. But with the stick and rolls, I'm hoping to have enough to buy this on the secondary for, for this trip and ape. And just be aware of the trip and ape, it's gonna be crazy. Make sure you have soul on your wallet. Make sure it might be a good idea to get a bot because seriously, you're not gonna be able to get this in mint if you don't have. Uh, whitelist and on the secondary market after mint it's gonna be difficult really 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 difficult because this is the craziest mint right now crazier than ok bears I could tell you that right now I am on record saying this this is gonna be nuts all right so anyways let me know what which one you're going to mint I enjoy bubble goose ballers is it's seeing professional artists come to the space is what I love about NFTs is that they can finally work on things that they deserve to be celebrated for through this technology. So comment below which one you're gonna mint. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe, you hit that bell, smash that like button. Much love and peace.